Hello and welcome to another video tutorial about VITAL, as the title might have suggested. Now, uh, what am I going to talk about in, the, in this video is some simple tricks based on, let's say, maths and physics on how to exploit the characteristics of the harmonic series and uh, make good use of destructive interference for your own obscure artistic purposes. And for this purpose, I now have lots of scopes. I have here an, an oscilloscope, and here a stereoscope, and down here even a spectrum analyzer, though it's small because there's Vital taking most of the interface, and there's this little thing with my face, which is, you know, I, I'd rather keep it there. I mean, I suppose you, you kind of, it kind of makes sense to see what faces I'm doing while I'm uh, talking to you about synths. So, uh, without further ado, what is the first of these ones? Like, say, I put another sawtooth wave, let's get the phases to zero, both phase randomization to zero, so that, you know, I know exactly what phase they're on. Now, if I play, there's going to be nothing but, uh, again, a simple sawtooth with twice the volume, like not really impressive but if i move one of these like say to zero so there's like 100 180 degree phase shift this thing is all of a sudden one octave higher what is happening here if i move this slowly you can see that uh, there is a uh, this thing, which you can, of course, animate dynamically. But what is happening is that for a 180 degree phase shift on a thing like, uh, on a function like this, which is an odd function, you have a complete cancellation of the odd, of the, uh, odd, of the odd harmonics and you keep the even ones. I mean, you have the cancellation of the odd harmonics anyway, but in this case, since you have even harmonics, uh, you keep them and you keep listening them. Now, this, of course, in this case, is happening all in mono because it's one oscillator in mono in any case. If I go and put them on the opposite side of the panning, the pan spectrum, we get uh, our, our stereograph giving us something uh, weird and um, unstable, and it's definitely a wide sound. But what is happening is exactly we have all the... Um, all the even harmonics are in the center in phase and the odd harmonics are on the si on, on the sides completely in anti-phase. Is this good? Is it bad? Well, it is not very monocompatible, but it is something you can be aware of and you can make use of. And interestingly enough, uh, you can do it even without bothering uh, to use two oscillators in Vital. Why? Because you have this wonderful feature, stereo. So I go here and I put this here. So it goes from 180 to 360, which is the same as zero. And right now I have the same effect, just lower in volume. And now I have all the rest of my synth to add more, more stuff to it. Say, for example, I might want to add some consistency with my in my odd harmonics i might add a square wave and maybe i want here this one too to have some mess going on here so i could get an lfo controlling the phase and making it bipolar and stereo and what happens here see stereogram is making interesting things. Now, uh, this uh, sounds a bit dry, but it's already quite big and it's really nothing. You, you add just a little bit of reverb and it becomes a little more, I would say, believable or something like that. Now, this same idea, well, it's not exactly the same idea, but exploiting uh, some other characteristics of the harmonic series. If you have already here, let's say this square wave, let's remove this modulation from here and I go and get this one, one octave above, you might notice that this here, again, uh, let me remove this modulation too, sorry. Now, this here, if I check the phase, this, and when I have uh, th this amount of phase uh, shift 
90 degrees in this case just just depends on how you you set up your wave angle. in this case with 90 degrees the phase difference this becomes exactly a sawtooth wave what what is happening here here we have all the all the odd harmonics and here we have all the even harmonics just like you actually we were doing earlier with the, the same thing because actually that was not not only those human harmonics but I mean you, I was basically doing getting the same result and here I can just put some unison on this one and maybe and maybe here I can also add some phase randomization because when you get the unison high it can be kind of important what is the reason for doing this thing well the reason is you know you get something which is strictly mono in all its odd harmonics it's fundamental is mono the third harmonic is mono the fifth harmonic is mono and that you know makes it uh, makes it centered even though it's the most of the sound is very very wide and if you're trying to make something wide and big but you also want it to have some presence in the center you know so that you can decently use it as a lead well this is a way um you, you know there's quite a difference from having it so this so open or mono it's definitely quite an important difference you see now uh, you can uh, keep using this logic for a lot of other things but before going into it i'm going to look about phase randomization and unison maybe i mentioned this already in a, some other video but it's quite important to know now if i go and get let's get the unison to, to the max to 16 voices here you see every note seems kind of identical even if i reduce the tune to a very low value but if i get the phase randomization to zero you see here you get a thing which looks like a sawtooth and then there's all these teeth that appear and then the thing becomes this and even the stereogram here you can see gets uh, but it has a specific transition in the beginning which if i go lo even lower in the tune like one it gets even longer what is happening here? Uh, the, the period and the frequency of uh, the 16 copies of the oscillator is, are slightly different, but they all start with the same phase. So there is a phase of set that grows uh, and, well, that will never be again perfectly in phase, but in the beginning they are. And this creates this thing. Do you like it? Well, if you're trying to make some classic super saw sound or something like that, I guess you don't. But it is it is something which is good to be aware of. It's still kind of handy. Now, uh, this, uh, again, uh, there is a lot of things you can do with the Unison manual from Vital. And here, for example, if you wanted to do that thing, having the center note uh, one octave below, you can do it from there. You cannot make that center note uh, be, uh, you cannot force that center note to be a square wave, but... But you will have a lower center which will work some sort of as, as a sub oscillator of which you can control the volume independently. I mean, it yeah, does have some, some problems. Now, there's other ideas you can follow with this manual. One I really like is using this odd harmonics or even harmonics, but I like using the odd harmonics for quite a, quite a reason which you, you will probably understand now. Say, for example, I get this here and I say I get the fundamental and the first harmonic. Now, if I play... See, I'm having here a lot of uh, actual harmonic content but out of the fact that I'm summing up 16, you know, there's... The fundamental and its first harmonic but then there is the other unison voice which is playing the third harmonic and then the fourth because every single copy of this oscillator has two harmonics and so basically i'm playing the first 32 harmonics of my of my harmonic series you know it ends here it's a bit like having a very sharply filtered sawtooth wave but I can do a little more. Let's say, for example, here I have this one. Here there will be another harmonic created by my subsequent oscillator. But no, I'm going to put this here and maybe another one here. And things will be... 
brighter because of course I'm adding some harmonics. I can keep going like this and say for example I want to add uh, let's say I'm uh, put drawing something and then clearing let's say I'm gonna clear the even harmonics and then why is it oh I, I needed to clear the odd ones not the even ones sorry I mean let me again do, do, do this and then clear the odd harmonics and then I'm gonna put the fundamental back in and this as you might see here with this amount of unison is You can do this with a lot, and you see it has a huge stereo spread. And a bit of unison gives it a different character. And you can actually put like a macro to control your unison amount, which I find quite interesting. It does get a bit, I wouldn't say glitchy, but it isn't really the smoothest thing you can do. But you can do that and you can also do a lot more. Like say for example, here we'll go, let's put it like to four so that we can make, uh, say for example, a double square wave so that we have all, you know, something like is something which only has even harmonics, uh, but which is uh, only, only odd harmonics, but which is one octave higher. Even harder, we could go for making a double sawtooth wave with an added fundamental, say, right? So we... This here. And then uh, let's say we want something a little bit less, less conspicuous here. And let's say I'm going to just add, just, I'm just going to filter this a little bit. So let's say frequency filter, uh, create keyframe here. And this one here, I want it to be way lower, right here. Around here. And yep, I have to, to tell this thing to do some uh, to do some uh, waveform blend. Oh, why isn't this working? Now it should work. And say from here, and I also get this macro to control this so that when I raise You get what I'm get what you get where I'm going, right? Something which is akin to an organ, but it's not quite like an organ, and which has quite interesting evolution possibilities. It's not like about making you know known sounds. It's just ideas for making your own and considering what your tools are. So with this other thing, I think I'm done. I don't have a lot more to say except doing my mandatory self-promotion, which is telling you about uh, that jingle and the logo you saw in the beginning is like Deep Tant Production. I'm working with those guys. We do some one-on-one uh, -on -one mentoring on several audio-related topics. There's some... Um, there's some people who do some very, some amazing state of the art mixing and mastering work for you, not me. And not me because I couldn't do that. Um, and I totally admit it. And uh, there's also a link to my Gumroad where you can find patches for Vital and soon patches for some other plugins. And there's some links to my music. Now, uh, 
this is done. In the next video, I'm probably going to talk about more things about uh, Python LFOs because I think they're amazing. They got lots of hidden features and possibilities which are definitely worth exploring. But if you have other ideas, well, ask me in the comments. I mean, seriously, uh, just ask me in the comments and if I can help, I will. I might even do a recipe video if you so insist for that and maybe you believe there isn't a recipe for that already on the tube. So, this said, thank you for your attention. If you liked what you heard so far, if you liked uh, what I've been telling you, and if you've learned something, please consider subscribing or maybe just leaving me a like uh, or whatever. Again, comment. I, I believe me, the YouTube algorithm, so the YouTube, YouTube algorithm, I'm told, really loves comments. So, keep commenting, and that will make, uh, make YouTube happy and me too. Especially if you also happen to have something intelligent to write in your comments. Well, with this consideration, thank you for your attention, and bye!